Shujo and her family and her friends. And I want everybody to become aware now about this and to write letters to the ambassadors to Japan in their own countries. And I want people to write letters to high-ranking politicians. I want people to write letters to the Club of Rome to get them involved in this, to get them engaged in this to do something for the cetaceans, the whales and the dolphins and all the other ocean animals and, and all the other animals living on land as well. I want the Club of Rome to start doing something about it. Not just talk, 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 talk or write books, books over books over books over books on global warming and all of this. Now, you know, I have nothing against the Club of Rome because I know somebody who was a very high-ranking member of the Club of Rome. A very wonderful, wonderful, wonderful man. I miss him very much. He's greatly missed and he's going to have his 100th birthday now coming up pretty soon. The subject animals is absolutely critical. We have to become aware of this now and humans are not on the top just because they can do all these technological things with their hands. There are a few superhumans on planet Earth today, but unfortunately the, the most high-ranking politicians do not want to acknowledge that they are the superhumans. The real work has to be done from within. Every single person, every single CEO of a corporation, every single politician in any kind of position or rank, any kind of political or religious figure or leader or guru has to go within and ask himself or herself these very, very critical questions. Who am I? What do I want? from this lifetime that I'm living here? Do I want to live this lifetime accomplishing um, something good or do I want this lifetime to accumulate money and wealth? It's about selfish motivations. It's usually selfish motivations. What Gary Mentum is talking about, Everybody, everyone is running after the cheese. You know, how can I get me, me, me? It's always the, the, the motivation for to get something, to get more, 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 how I need more, you know. So we need to get away from this. And there's so many, there's so many psychological reasons behind this selfish mechanism you know it's like self-defense mechanisms ego because people want to be respected you know, and a lot of people don't know anymore they're cut off from what is actually good for you you know what is good for your bodies it's not um, eating caviar it's not uh, killing embryos from fish you know it's not drinking champagne it is those things are not good for people. Seaweed, eating seaweed tastes a little bit like uh, any kind of... I have never tasted caviar. I don't know how it tastes. My parents ate it. I never liked that idea. I thought that was horrible. And um, so, what, But I think it is very salty and greasy. And, um, so, and fishy and all that. I tasted sushi one time. I did not like it at all. I don't like raw stuff that contains parasitic infections. Um, eat seaweed, dried seaweed, wasabi flavored seaweed is excellent. It's absolutely gourmet, it's vegan. And grape juice instead of wine. I saw this film Born Rich um, by Jamie Johnson. I thought it was an, an excellent film but I saw him participating in all of this partying too, you know, obviously he's 
right in the middle of it, you know, but at least he's still filming it for everybody to see also from from a critical perspective. So that's good at least, you know. And I think he does question himself and he does question his family and and this extreme wealth gap in general. But my question is, why participate then in this in this decadent indulgence of things that are not good for you? And why is your dad or your family, when they have a, f a pharmaceutical company, you know, pharmaceutical supposed to help people, you know, supposed to help people with their health issues, right? But then, then they're passing around cigarette cartons on that. That's the most puzzling thing that I thought <laughs> I was seeing. And then also this fashion, it's like these people, they were dressed like the 20s and they probably think that this is somehow really, really extravagantly nice or good looking. It looks like crap. I'm sorry, I'm a fashion designer. So I look at these things from a completely different perspective. I see this is absolute crap uh, to to dress up like my grandmother lo used to look like in the 20s, in the roaring 20s. You know, leave the 20s to the 20s, I say, you know. Why put your body into uncomfortable shoelies and, and uncomfortable skirties? And I don't put fake eyelashes on my... <laughs> on my <laughs> on my face it's like it is it's so nonsensical you know why can't we like ourselves the way we are naturally and feed ourselves with good food with um with healthy stuff not with cigarettes not with champagne that flows on the floor and stuff like some shit you know there <laughs> there are animals and people starving on this planet there is such extreme scarcity in some areas and then some people they just they let money just flow on the floor and it just caused more pollution. Um, you can invest your money wisely, you can invest your money into into things that are good for life, you know, it's itself. And all these pro-life people, you know, they don't do pro-life things. I don't see them doing anything that's pro-life. For life. Pro means for, right? For life. So let's do things for life, I, I'd say. You know, you don't need to be religious to do it. You don't need to believe in anything in particular. Believe in life, right? Believe in the sun. Believe in the blue sky. Believe in the blue ocean. Believe in the green planet. Give it your love. Give it your support. Don't do things that will cause damage. Don't pollute. Don't cause bark beetle infections in trees. There's numerous forests that are infected with bark beetle infection. Why? Because of pollution, environmental pollution, and also climate change causes it. So the, the trees in certain areas, they need a very specific, very regimented type of climate and very specific climate fluctuations that it needs in order to have a very well working immune system. If this gets disturbed, then the immune system is completely out of balance, it's completely overwhelmed, and when the immune system of a, a plant, just like an, as in an animal, I if the immune system is overwhelmed, then these kind of infections can set foot in it and spread. So we lost a tree because of this. This is very sad, and we can avoid this if we but we have to go within first. It's not avoided just through a war or through a 
militia or through military or police you know that's that's those are desperate emergency measures okay and if the agis are developed they will probably do it you know maybe if there is no other way around it they will do it they will police us they will nanny us hopefully you know but what i'm the reason why i'm making these videos is because i am hoping that maybe somebody will hear what I say and maybe that one person, if it's just one person who takes that into account what I say, who listens to me and who someone who will really think about it, what I say, someone who will maybe go within himself and ask these critical questions. What do I really want from life? What do you want from life? You know, why are you here? Are you here to pollute your body with toxins? Or are you here to live your life to the fullest and enjoy and, and, and give and be good to life in general? I just, this is my appeal to all people and particularly people in high-ranking positions. We have a huge responsibility. Also actors and Anybody who is who has a large audience, you have a lot of responsibility here, and you can do something with that responsibility. Don't just let it go. Don't let, don't just let uh, your managers dictate the corporate uh, sneak commercials into shows or something. You know, to that just reaps more. That plunders. That's it just um, it just damages more. Why not pay attention? You know, for example, if you have a TV show, and maybe you don't know much about this, what's all involved in this? You know, how you can step up and make it better. Listen to Simone Reis. Simone Reis is somebody who takes absolute hundred percent responsibility for her life, for the beings around her. She does as much as she can anywhere, at any time. She takes that opportunity to educate other people. And now she is helping Russell Simmons in his show, and she's doing a lot of educating. And she told him she will do a lot of educating, and he welcomed that. He's a wonderful man. And they are helping each other and they're helping everybody around them. Let's use these people as our role models. This is very important. Let's make our lives beautiful. Richard Berman, for example, my red flag. Richard Berman, you do not look well, you know. You do not look like you made it. I'm sorry, somebody who makes it on other people's health, doesn't make hasn't made it i'm sorry y you made it when you are giving when you are supporting life not when you are going against life you're going against your own life you're going against your own skin your own body your own organs i see it in your face i see what you're doing you're doing total damage don't do this Get out of this. You can't even have great sex with these 20-year-olds, hawkers. You can't even enjoy the sex very much because you're not feeding yourself, you know. S turn this around. D don't, don't brainwash people anymore any further into corporatism, into damaging. Step out. Stop what you're doing that makes you sick as Dr. Scholz always says, and start doing what makes you well. And turn it around and, and begin to love somebody for change. Love an another living being. Begin to love someone. Rescue a dog, Richard Berman. Rescue a dog and see how that feels. At least give it a try. Try it at least one time and see how it feels. Go within yourselves. You will thank me later for telling you this.